To create this infinite tunnel effect, I first found a 3D object on Sketchfab. I'll include the link in the description. And then I simply imported it into my SMOD files in a folder called 3D. From there, I just import my geometry into my composition. Here, I'll just make it a reference geometry because I don't need to access the sub-objects that make up this arch. And I have its texture folder here, so I'll simply import the textures from there. For example here, the color on the albedo, so I hold Alt and drag and drop the image. Here, the metal goes in the metallic pass, and the rossness in the rossness pass. From there, I'll create a camera that will serve as my main camera. The idea of the endless tunnel is quite simple. To understand it, I'll switch to my 3D view. Here, I have my 3D object, which is here, and I'll be able to apply a 3D modifier to it, which is in the operator's repeat. This repeat modifier will let me create a repetition, a certain amount of repetitions, here 5, and offset each of these repetitions with position parameters. So here, I'll be able to offset each of these repetitions by minus x meters. I usually like to stick with nice round numbers. In this case, I'll input minus 6 meters, as this gives me the spacing I want between each repetition. Then, I will apply a 3D modifier, distort 3D transform. This 3D transforms role will be to re-offset the repeated geometry by plus 6 meters, in such a way that if I enable or disable this 3D transform, it simply appears as if there is one repetition moving from this point to that point. If this effect works out, then all I have to do is tweak the opacity of this transform, and I can make my geometry move. So it's very simple. All I have to do is right-click here and choose a linear loop to initiate a forward movement. You see that automatically the geometry reappears behind. From there, I can switch back to 2D view and position my camera by holding Alt and scrolling the mouse wheel to place the camera precisely where I want it. I must ensure that the object nearest to the camera does not seem to disappear abruptly. In other words, this object should disappear behind my camera's field of view. But the thing is, I can still see the object popping back up here, so my loop isn't working very well. To hide that, it's simple enough. I'll just create a 2D layer uniform and leave it black. It's placed above my 3D object, so it's rendered after. But in this case, I can mask it using a very interesting mask, the Depth Mask. This means that I'll mask the color based on the depth pass of my composition. By adjusting the distance interval here, I can increase it to a point where I can see the pillars further without revealing the pillar that is popping back due to repetition. Once I have that set up, I will be able to capture footage of my tunnel from any desired perspective. Following this, I can incorporate additional elements, such as lights, like a point light here, increase its diffuse parameter slightly, reposition it potentially, At this point, I can play with its position along the z-axis to create interesting effects, 